as Deb said, my name is Jody. On Twitter, I go by IA Traveler. Now, as all of us know, IA means Iowa, but a lot of people don't know that. So they just think that I don't know what I'm saying, and I say, oh, hey, IA Traveler. So either way, that's where I'm at. Now, <laughs> as a traveler, I always thought I knew where Iowa was. You know, right in the middle of the country, fly over country, nobody notices us. But I did find out a couple of weeks ago that Iowa is actually part of the UK. Now, the way I found this out was I got some emails going, hey, you made these top blogger in the UK lists. I'm like, oh, awesome. I'm a top UK blogger. I figure Iowa is somewhere in the Midlands because even on that small of a country, we still don't get any coast. <laughs> now, I, I do travel now, which is kind of funny because I grew up on a farm in southwest Iowa and we were dirt poor. Now, I say we were dirt poor, and my mother contradicts me a little bit because, you know, we always had food on the table, we always wore clothes. But the way I remember it, we played with sticks and rocks and mud. But you're on a farm, you don't need a lot more. But growing up, we didn't vacation. We didn't take trips. We didn't travel. You you know, yeah, okay, I read these stories about all these exotic places, but the thought that I would ever actually get to them never occurred to me. Um, dreaming big just really didn't happen. And so it wasn't until I was in my 20s that I really started traveling, you know, working really, really cruddy jobs that paid really well to finance what was becoming my obsession. And in 2002, I ended up moving back to Iowa. I had moved away, swore I was never coming back. 2002, I moved back to Iowa because I met a guy who had a good job and, you know, we ended up getting married. In 2004, I started blogging. And this was way back when people didn't blog to make money. People blogged to, you know, share ideas and conversations. Well, in 2004, I was a new mom. We were getting ready to take a road trip to San Antonio, Texas with a three-month-old. Personally, I was amazed. I still had a baby alive. And I was like, I don't know what to do. How do I travel with this small little person? What do I need? So I turn to the internet. I type in traveling with kids. Notice I said type in, because at that time you didn't Google. You <laughs> went to Yahoo or a search engine, but you know, Google was not yet part of our, our vernacular. But I type in travel with kids. I get Disneyland trips. I get all-in-one vacations. I find nowhere online anything about how to travel with your child and do it without wanting to throw them out a car window. <laughs> so I say, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I am gonna document this trip on my blog and I'm gonna see, you know, the kind of reaction I get. The reaction I got was huge. People were like, oh, yay, you know, we've been wondering, you know, how it, can we do it? Is it easy? Is it something we should do? And that was when I first started writing specifically about how to travel with children. I started a blog, called it Have Kid Will Travel. You know, pretty simple, easy to find. It was doing really, really well. It was actually doing so well that about 2008, when Budget Travel listed me in their pages as one of their favorite travel blogs, all of a sudden, when I was doing my searches, I started knowing other people using my name. What's up with that? Well, when I started it, I didn't know anything about business. I didn't know, hey, maybe you should trademark that so people don't steal it. And after consulting with a super great attorney here in Des Moines, Brett Trout, best internet attorney ever. Um, after consulting with him, we decided that I was going to rename, rebrand, and relaunch. So in 2010, I trademarked the name Family Rambling and uh, set it off, and actually it has done better. So I'm very thankful for that. And then in 2011, I started writing a site called Ireland with Kids because my true, true passion is traveling in Ireland. And I want people to understand that it's not just for the young, single, pub-hopping crowd or the older, seasoned, 
writing a tour bus travelers, that it actually is one of the best places in the world to take your family. It has more magic than Disneyland and it's not fake. <laughs> so, what happened when I started expanding in that way is I became an international business. The people that I work the most with now are in the UK and they're in Ireland. So even though I'm sitting here in the middle of Iowa, my, my focus has become international. And really there's no way that that could happen without what we have today with the networking and the technology we have. Um, interacting with people through Twitter and then Facebook and now Pinterest has really made it so that I can, um, you know, show off my own awesome. My daughter helped me pick out my clothes today. You'll notice I'm kind of sparkly. I have on my shoes that uh, could probably hurt me if I'm not really careful. But she told me today, she said, Mom, you don't sparkle enough. And I think that actually, if we think about it, how often do we let ourselves really sparkle? You know, here in Iowa, we're all really laid back. We don't want to make a lot of noise. We don't want to really show off. And I think that's kind of a problem because we are pretty awesome here. So I decided that uh, my, my main point that I want to make is you have the tools at your disposal. They are free tools. They are tools that take time they are only good as what you put into them, but if you use your tools and you really want to make yourself awesome, show your sparkle. Show people why you need to be listened to. Show people why you are the expert in what you're talking about. And bring people to you so you can help them expand themselves. So that I think is really where I want to go. I have my little list, you know, growing up poor, passion, sparkly. Oh yeah, overnight success. I did want to mention that. I was an overnight success after six years. <laughs> so yeah, overnight success comes quickly. And uh, yeah, yeah. Travel writing doesn't pay a lot. So I always tell people that my husband makes the money and I make the opportunity. So partnership is always a really, really good option. Um, but that I think is really what I wanted to say is just use the tools. We've been given these tools and show off your own awesome. 